Good evening and welcome to MTV's News Update for today, November 3, 2021. I'm Sandy Ramotar. First, our top headlines. Czech Republic interested in helping Ghana revitalize the sugar industry. 25% of persons living with HIV vaccinated. Government threatens the backlist of defaulting contractors. And in sport, Mark Robin Invitational Golf Tourney to tee off this Saturday. Now for the news in details. Attorney General Anil Nandlal has issued a stern warning to defaulting contractors that they can be blacklisted for continuous violations of contractual obligations. Luan Williams reports. Minister of Legal Affairs and Attorney General Anil Nandlal said he has been tasked with the responsibility to ensure contractors deliver quality works in keeping with their contractual obligations. There have been several complaints from residents in the past about contractors doing shoddy work. Minister Nandlal said if a company is found in breach of their contracts, the state can institute legal proceedings against them for wastage of taxpayers' dollars. And it's our, our committed policy that when these default takes place, we have to act in a condign way. Court proceedings will result, liquidated and other damages will be imposed as permitted by the contract and law. And at some point in time, Additional sanctions, such as blacklisting, will have to be resorted to. The Attorney General said these companies cannot continue to delay the completion of critical works as they would affect the lives of citizens on a daily basis. And the government's developmental pro program becomes stymied. And how are you to pay compensation for that? When you don't fail to deliver a road on time and someone lose their life because they can't get to the hospital on time or you don't finish the road in time and people lose their crops if they intend to use that road to transport their produce. The damages that flow are incalculable, incalculable. And the entire developmental agenda of the country is held back. Only recently, Minister of Agriculture, Zofi Karmustafa, engaged contractors who have outstanding works or are late with providing critical supplies to several agencies that form part of the ministry. Luan Williams, from TV's News Update. President Dr. Irfanali believes the development of any national, regional, or international climate plan must be comprehensive and inclusive. Here is Rihanna Griffith. President Dr. Irfan Ali said that no plan should assess climate change in isolation from food security, debt security, or national prosperity, since climate change has a negative domino effect on development. The head of state made a comment during his remarks at a high-level discussion to the Climate Vulnerable Forum, a voluntary non-treaty in governmental organization for vulnerable developing countries. He further noted that climate change is not a new, but the choices that are made now will determine the future. He also highlighted that climate change affects everyone. However, for small island developing states, states it affects them in a worse way. As a result, the president said there must be differentiated actions and differentiated commitments. Reporter for MTV's News Update, Rihanna Griffiths. President Dr. Irfanali held bilateral discussions with the United Kingdom's Minister of Europe and the Americas, Wendy Morthen, at a Scottish event campus where he outlined Guyana's climate change plans and concerns. The Guyanese head of state, who is in Glasgow, Scotland, for the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties, COP26, Inform Morton, who is the Parliamentary Under Secretary of State of Guyana's expanded low carbon development strategy that was launched last week for national consultation. President Ali emphasized the value of the country's standing forests and his government's quest to enhance the livelihoods of its citizens with new opportunities. 
The president underscored a climate emergency and the need to function as a collective unit. With that in mind, he also spoke of the desire by many to restructure existing loans to help countries not only bounce back on their feet, but to satisfy commitments to climate change. President Ali and a UK official also discussed the impact of COVID-19 pandemic and the need to reprioritize finances to deal with issues such as education regression. You're watching MTV's News Update. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high-quality building supplies. We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size, and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full-body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as 10 feet by 4.5 feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding. Our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade. With our wall and ceiling gypsum system, it's light, durable, and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Cherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut for that 31 years of lens quality. Give me one damn day for my whole family. Their brand is this day. Them bake, bake, bake. Baked with love and passion by our dedicated team of fine bakers, we give you damn bake. With the same great quality you're used to, we now have a slightly new look. Here in Land of Canaan, we are ready to give you even more. Don't wait until you're hungry. Reach for a slice of damn bake. Make healthy, wholesome living. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick fit for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily, Monday through Saturday, to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket a day could make you rich today. At Decor and Gift Gallery, we have comfortable and unique living room suites. Check out your bonded leather sofa or three-piece recliner set and much more. Or pick a lovely dining room set to match your home setting. Whatever is your style, we've got it. Shop your living room or dining room sets at Decor and Gift Gallery today. This is MTV's News Update. Welcome back. The National AIDS Program Secretariat has reported that 25% of persons living with HIV have been vaccinated against the coronavirus. Here is more. Program Manager of the National AIDS Program Secretariat, NAPS, Dr. Tarek Jagnarain, said persons living with HIV is more susceptible to the virus. This is why he said persons who have been living with the disease need to come out and get vaccinated against the coronavirus. Dr. Jagnarain said at least 25% of persons living with HIV have been vaccinated with a COVID-19 vaccine. But of course, it's our aim and goal um, especially by the end of December, we want at least 80% because they're one of the groups that are at higher risk of if they get uh, COVID-19 as well as um, being HIV positive, they can easily present with complications and even die. He said persons living with this disease may also need a booster shot or a short dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. Dr. Jack Noren is urging persons living with HIV to protect themselves against COVID-19 by getting vaccinated. He said they are currently offering vaccines at the care and treatment clinics at various locations. Um, and so we're encouraging them, um, don't be reluctant. Avoid listening to erroneous messages from around the place. Come out, get the vaccine. Luan Williams for MTV's News Update. We tell you now that the Czech Republic has expressed a strong interest in supporting the revitalization of Guyana's sugar industry. More from Rihanna Griffith. 
His Excellency Peter Kovacek, ambassador to Cuba, said his country produces various kinds of tractors, trucks, and equipment related to the sugar industry, and that he would be happy to engage a Guyana Sugar Corporation. This was disclosed during an engagement he had with Guyana's ambassador to Cuba, Halim Majid. Ambassador Majid was informed that the Czech Republic supplies substantial hardware for the sugar industry for various countries, including Cuba, and that Czech technology is highly respected in Europe and around the world. Ambassador Kavan also showed interest in Guyana's rum, rice, exotic woods, and jewelry. He also expressed an interest in the possibility of a joint venture agreement with the Guyanese company to produce Czech beers in Guyana, regarded highly as the Mercedes of beer. It has a stable open economy and is regarded as the most industrialized country in the EU. Diplomatic relations between Guyana and the Czech Republic were established on January 1, 1993 in an effort to enhance relations between the two countries. The two ambassadors are expected to meet again to identify specific areas of cooperation. Reporter for MTV Series Update, Rihanna Griffiths. Youth involvement in the training programs offered by the Board of Industrial Training has increased tremendously despite the COVID-19 pandemic. This is according to BIT's Chief Executive Officer, Richard Mond. He said growth is a result of the methods adopted by the Minister of Labor, Joseph Hamilton, since assuming office in August 2020. He said the joint venture partnerships created between the Ministries of Labor, Culture, Youth and Sport and Armenian Affairs, as well as a human-centered approach with focus on sustainable development programs, also played a significant role. He reiterated that the pandemic did not slow down the work of the entity, but rather fast track its plan to provide online classes. This includes programs recognized regionally and internationally. More news coming up on the other side of the break. Stay with us. It happens. Your septic tank is full. All the waste from your toilet goes into your septic tank through the sewage line. When your tank is full, the two most common indicators are an overflowing tank and an overflowing toilet. It is recommended that Sivan's Waste Management empty your septic tank every two to three years to avoid any embarrassment. And before you can say, shh, it's gone. Call Sivan's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. It's time to stock up and save big in a massive pre-Christmas sale on soft X tissues. Buy a bale of 24 rolls for only $1,000. That's right, 24 rolls for just $1,000. This deal is only available direct from our factories at soft X Manufacturing, Lot 12, 28 Eccles Industrial Site. Remember the deal, one bale, 24 rolls, $1,000. So hurry and save big before the holidays. For more information, call 622-4197 or 623-4197. From the arms of nature emerges a unique blend of oils. Introducing the Shilling Inhaler. Refreshing, stimulating, cooling. The fastest, most natural way to ease congestion. Breathe easier. The Shilling Inhaler. From the makers of Shilling Oil, distributed by Massey Distribution. Looking for fresh, tender, and flavorful meat? Then check out Rosignol Butchery for steaks, burgers, sausages, minced meat, fish, and chicken. For a tasty, attractive cocktail, we have a wide variety of packaged deli meats and cheeses to decorate your platter. We also stock a wide assortment of canned goods, seasoning salts, sauces, and marinade, all in a highly hygienic, welcoming atmosphere with warm and welcoming staff to cater to all your needs. Rosignol Butchery, we meet your needs. 73 to 74 Church Street, Georgetown. Telephone number 223-00. Fibertech materials are used in a multitude of ways from repairing and fabrication of auto body, fishing and household items. We have available various fiberglass mappings, resin, mold releases, brushes and rollers for all of your repair needs. We offer technical advice and free training to ensure you get the job done. For further information, call us at 2206907 or 2209192. Jungle Jam! Jungle Jam! Jungle Jam! Find as many as you can! Jungle Jam! Jungle Jam! The animals are waiting! Monkeys, giraffes, dinosaurs! Real excitement in a chocolate bar! Elephant, Tuka, Jaguar! Which ones will you find? Jungle Jam! Jungle Jam! Which ones will you find? You're tuned to 
to MTV's News Update. President Dr. Fanali is expected to appoint members of several constitutional agencies sometime after he arrives in Ghana from the United Nations Climate Change Conference this month. More in this report. Minister of Legal Affairs and Attorney General Anil Nandalal, Senior Counsel, said that President Dr. Irfan Ali will shortly appoint members of the Judicial Service Commission, the Public Service Commission and the Police Service Commission. Members of the Judicial Service Commission have not been appointed since 2017 when former President David Granger had sworn in Acting Chancellor Justice Yonet Cummins Edwards and Acting Chief Justice Roxon George, Senior Counsel. The previous government had come under scrutiny from the Caribbean Court of Justice for not appointing a substantive office holder for the Chancellor. The current government has committed to resolving this issue. The President has already said that upon his return, he will address the issue of the commissions, the constitutional commissions. The life of the Police Service Commission came to an end on August 9, 2021, after the members were appointed in 2018. All three commissions are independent bodies and are responsible for interviewing candidates for positions, make recommendations for appointments, deal with complaints brought against persons in their respective agency. President Dr. Irfan Ali is currently in Glasgow, Scotland for the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference that is held from October 31st to the 12th of November. The members of the commissions are appointed by the president, acting after obtaining the agreement of the leader of the opposition. And he says how the opposition leader will be engaged in that regard, because that process, the process of appointing uh, persons to these tribunals require some involvement of the opposition. Luan Williams for MTV's News Update. Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony said the government is working to further develop the country's capacity to cater for hospitalization and isolation of COVID patients across the country. Here is more. Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony said all the regional hospitals are equipped to facilitate the care of COVID-19 patients. Minister Anthony said the Infectious Diseases Hospital has the capacity to house 59 patients in its intensive care unit should the need arise, while in Region 1, a section of the Mabaruma and Port Kaituma and Kamaka Hospital is dedicated to cater for COVID-19 patients. In Region 2, uh, we had um since last year, dedicated one of the buildings within the compound of the Saudi hospital for COVID-19 patients, and we have uh, been able to repurpose that to make sure that we have adequate um, ventila ventilators and um, oxygen supplies so as to cater for COVID-19 patients. Meanwhile, the West Samara Regional Hospital in Region 3 can now accommodate 50 COVID patients. In Region 5, at Maikoni, we have also been able to repurpose one of the buildings at Experiment, the Experiment Health Center, to cater solely for COVID-19 patients. And currently, we are doing additional works to the Maikoni Hospital to have an ICU type of um, arrangement for severe COVID-19 patients. There has been over 35,000 positive COVID cases since the outbreak of the virus last year in March. Reporter for MTV's News Update, Rian Griffith. Minister of Human Services and Social Security, Dr. Vindya Persaud, said the ministry has a host of initiatives that will improve the lives of Guyanese in the new year. With preparations for Budget 2022 on the way, Minister Persaud said that many of the initiatives in train will transform the lives of all Guyanese. The Minister said the objectives have their individualized purposes that will enhance the Ministry's programs. These include adult foster care, child care and social services. The plans will also see the implementation of new programs that will benefit citizens of all ages. They include partnerships with businesses to create job opportunities across the country, which will enable persons to have a sustainable income. Meanwhile, Minister Persaud said a program will be introduced to provide intel on children's health and conditions from a tender age. Apart from implementing new programs, the Ministry also intends to work closely with persons living with disabilities by equipping them with learning aids to improve their everyday livelihoods. Also, persons would be able to access programs provided by the Ministry. 
We now take a look at tips for healthy living, brought to you with the kind compliments of Natura's High Low Milk Powder, distributed by Daffy's Variety. What does Natura High and Low Milk Powder have? It is fortified with the extra goodness of vitamins A, C, D, E, and K. It is high in calcium, protein, and enriched with folic acid, all of which help to strengthen your immune system. What it doesn't have is fat and cholesterol. Natura, high and low, healthy, can taste good. Available at all leading supermarkets and groceries nationwide. Natura High and Low Milk Powder is not for infants one year and under. Common warts are small, grainy skin growths that occur most often on your finger or hands. Rough to the touch, common warts also often feature a pattern of tiny black dots, which are small, clotted blood vessels. Common warts are caused by a virus and are transmitted by touch. It can take a wart as long as two to six months to develop after your skin has been exposed to the virus. Common warts are usually harmless and eventually disappear on their own, but many people choose to remove them because they find them bothersome or embarrassing. Symptoms Common warts usually occur on your fingers or hands and may be small fleshy grainy bumps, flesh colored white, pink or tan, rough to the touch, sprinkled with black pinpoints which are small clotted blood vessels. See your doctor for common warts if the growths are painful or change in appearance or color, you try treating the warts but they persist, spread or recur, the growths are bothersome and interfere with activities, you aren't sure whether the growths are warts, you are an adult and numerous warts begin to appear, which may indicate the immune system is malfunctioning. Causes Common warts are caused by the human papillomavirus HPV. The virus is quite common and has more than 150 types, but only a few cause warts on your hands. Some strains of HPV are acquired through sexual contact. Most forms, however, are spread by casual skin contact or through shared objects, such as towels or washcloths. The virus usually spreads through breaks in your skin, such as a hangnail or a scrape. Biting your nails can also cause warts to spread on your fingertips and around your nails. Each person's immune system responds to the HPV virus differently, so not everyone who comes in contact with HPV develops warts. Risk factors People at higher risk of developing common warts include children and young adults because their bodies may not have built up immunity to the virus, People with weakened immune systems, such as those with HIV AIDS or people who've had organ transplants. Prevention To reduce your risk of common warts, avoid direct contact with warts, this includes your own warts. Don't pick at warts, picking may spread the virus. Don't use the same nail clipper on your warts as you use on your healthy skin and nails. Don't bite your fingernails. Warts occur more often in skin that has been broken. Nibbling the skin around your fingernails opens the door for the virus. Finally. Groom with care. Avoid brushing, clipping, or shaving areas that have warts. If you must shave, use an electric razor. What does Natura High and Low Milk Powder have? It is fortified with the extra goodness of vitamins A, C, D, E, and K. It is high in calcium, protein, and enriched with folic acid, all of which help to strengthen your immune system. What it doesn't have is fat and cholesterol. Natura, high and low, healthy, can taste good. Available at all leading supermarkets and groceries nationwide. Natura High and Low Milk Powder is not for infants one year and under. The ISG and MTV's sport update is next. Stay tuned. The Central Housing and Planning Authority is kindly asking residents living in communities under the management of the department to desist from storing construction materials on roadways and road shoulders. Residents are also being asked not to block roadways or drains with construction materials. According to clauses 12 and 13 of the amended agreement of sale of restrictive covenants attached to titles issued from 2012, no storage of materials comprising earth, sand, stone, blocks, cements, timber and steel or mixing of concrete shall be permitted on the road or the road shoulders. Any materials on the road or the road shoulders must be cleared within 24 hours of being placed thereon. Residents are reminded that failure to adhere to clauses 12 and 13 will result in a penalty of $10,000 being charged per day of default. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. 
Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals the light on your face no mask will hide feel the joy burn deep inside let's have a great christmas this year you me and republic bank money whatever you need light up your christmas with republic bank and get a chance to win 825,000 in cash prizes plus get a chance to give a family a christmas hamper in your name log on to republicguyana.com for more details let's light up christmas republic bank we're the one for you. Are you building or renovating your home? Then come to Beeson for a wide range of aluminum and UPVC windows and doors. Get from single hung sash, on it, casement, sliding windows, plus sliding and swinging doors. All our products can be customized and fitted with insect screens and are sealed tight to withstand harsh weather conditions. At Beeson, we also carry commercial, glass and French doors, showcases, aluminum louvers, curtain walls, aluminum rails, plus sliding and frameless shower doors. So look no further. Visit our showroom today at lot 1228. Echoes Industrial Site or call 622 4197 or 623 4197. Peace on windows and doors. Filled with pride in Guyana by Guyanese. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter in under five minutes. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. The Machine Corporation of Guyana, Macorp, in collaboration with Lusignan Golf Club, today launched the 14th edition of their highly anticipated Invitational Golf Tournament, set to tee off at 12 noon this Saturday. The Caterpillar Macorp Tournament is one of the most looked out for in terms of um, golfing activity for the calendar year for the Lusignan Golf Club. It's one of the most sought after prizes. Um, as you can see, the trophies and um, umbrellas and all the other um, prizes that they are going to be handing out um, is testament to what their commitment to the game is. The tournament will feature fierce competition from golfers who won prizes at the recently concluded GTT Guyana Open 2021 Golf Championship and overseas-based participants who remained in Guyana to compete. Lusignan Golf Club has also noted that they may be set to surpass the number of competitors at last weekend's championship, with over 50 golfers already indicating their participation. Over the years, we have decided to run our tournament soon after the Guyana Open, which, by the way, I want to congratulate the president and the committee for a well-organized tournament. It was a really great experience, and we want to continue this um, weekend with more golf and with another tournament. Today in football, Guyana's national under-20 boys departed earlier today for the Dominican Republic to compete in the CONCACAF under-20 championship qualifiers. Guyana has been drawn into Group D of the CONCACAF qualification and will first come up against the Cayman Islands on November 6th. 
the winner of each qualification group will progress to the round of 16 finals tournament next year. They will next face the U.S. Virgin Islands on November 8. In their last game in Group D, the squad will be hoping to exact revenge on regional rivals Nicaragua, following a nail-biting 1-0 defeat to the Central American side in the last edition of qualifiers for the 2020 tournament. That narrow loss cost Guyana a place in the final tournament, despite commanding victories against Montserrat, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. The 2020 tournament was eventually cancelled due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Guyana-based contingent of the under-20 preliminary squad has been engaged in intense structured preparations for the qualifiers since September, most recently beating GFF Elite League teams Mile Rock FC and GDF in friendly matches, with a final warm-up game against a select national under-23 men's side on October 28. In cricket news, Hilbert Foster, president of the Burbies Cricket Board, has praised the performance of cricketers from the Burbies County in international cricket this year, among Burbies cricketers that have either played for the West Indies or been called to trials in the last few months are Kevin Sinclair, Gudikesh Moti, Virasami Pramal, Isaiah Torn, Shimran Hetmeyer, Shemaine Campbell, Shinetta Grimman, Shabika Gajnavi, Niall Smith, Romario Shepard and Rampata Ramnath. The Barbies cricketers have been, been fairly productive. Um, I know Shepard was injured for a period of time. Um, Kevin made his debut and I think he did reasonably well. Unfortunately, for some strange reason, um, Permal seems unable to break into the, into the playing 11 despite being the, the top bowler in our regional tournaments and I'm going to leave it at that. The Burbies Cricket Board also congratulated Nas Smith and Virasami Pramal on their selection to the best of best match by CWI, as well as Shimran Hetmeyer and Gudikesh Modi for being selected to the West Indies senior team. Um, the girls have been, been fairly average. Um, Gatmini performed quite well with the A team, and um, Grimman just took her best bowling figure. And Shimin, uh, as you know, is the only cricketer in. Um, Guy enough to score the uh, international century, and she's also our number one Ricky keeper. Shemaine Campbell, Shanetta Grimman, and Shabika Gajnami would be touring Pakistan for three ODIs and Zimbabwe for the ICC Women's Cricket World Cup Qualifier 2021. Foster also noted that there is more promising talent in Burbies that he expects will make their way to the international scene in the future. And we also have perhaps the most promising young cricketer in Guyana in terms of batsmanship, Mr. Kevin Anderson, who once I think the original cricket starts, Kevin is going to be a force to reckon with. And uh, I have two friends of mine that I expect him to be in the West Indies team between two to three years. And finally, World Football Governing Body FIFA has agreed to new climate change targets at the COP26 Climate Conference, despite considering plans for a biennial World Cup. This is according to BBC Sport. FIFA, while contemplating proposals to host the World Cup every two years, has also scheduled an expansion to 48 teams for the 2026 tournament in the USA and Canada, both of which will guarantee an increase in carbon emissions. The targets were unveiled as part of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and include reaching net zero by 2040 and 50% reduction in greenhouse gases by 2030. Net zero is when a business or a country achieves an overall balance between the amount of carbon it is emitting and the carbon that it removes from the atmosphere. European football governing body UEFA has also signed up to the targets. In the summer, UEFA faced criticism for the scheduling of Euro 2020 across 11 countries and the introduction of the Europa Conference League this season increased the number of continental club group games by 20%. This formed part of a growing sense in football that certain organizations and actions were at odds with the principles they had signed up to. For MTV Sports Update, Jessica Callender. That brings us to the end of Sport Update, which is brought to you with the kind compliments of ISG. More after the break. Welcome to Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. 
Cayenne is the sole distributor of NP and Ultra Lubricants, SKF Bearings, Seal and Belts, International Trucks and Parts, and Napa Batteries. With a bond capacity of 30,000 square foot, we offer superior brands at affordable prices and the best after-sales service. ISG supplies sustainable, integrated solutions to make your business a growing success. Visit us at our new main office at Lot 4Q Peters Hall, ISG the best opportunity to make the right choice. But before we go, here's a reminder of our top stories. Czech Republic interested in helping Guyana revitalize the sugar industry. 25% of persons living with HIV vaccinated. Government threatens to blacklist sporting contractors. And in sport, Mark Rupp Invitational Golf Tourney to tee off this Saturday. Catch for we broadcast the more at 6 hours 30. Don't forget to like our Facebook page where the news can be put live at 19 hours 30. On behalf of our news and technical teams, Sandy Ramutar Singh, stay safe and goodbye for now.